Hello and welcome to an introduction on Riverside Unified School District's elementary STEM program. My name is Steve Kong and I'm joined by Crystal Hart. We're excited to share with you all of the amazing things happening in RUSD with STEM, as well as having you participate in some hands-on activities. In the 1930s, Ole Kirk Christensen was a woodworker who found himself in the middle of the Great Depression. He needed a way to stay in business and came up with an idea to keep his business afloat. Using the wood he had in his storage, he decided to produce smaller goods and came up with the world's first wooden toy duck. In a few minutes, you will be engaging in a hands-on STEM activity using a bag of Legos. When you get your bags, don't open them just yet as you will need to follow the instructions that we have for this activity. Please pause the video here and pass out Lego bags for each participant. In each of your bags, you will have multiple Lego pieces, but for this specific activity, you will need six pieces, four yellow and two red. In just a moment, when you pause this video, Take 90 seconds and build a Lego duck any way you want with your six pieces. Please pause the video. Great, now that you have your duck, take a look around at the other ducks around you. Look at how different each one is and discuss why you built your duck the way that you did. In many ways, your hands know more than you think they know. We often use our hands and go right to work as we explore new ideas and concepts. In the duck building activity, you use 24 different thinking skills. The best part of this activity is your creativity as you probably found that all of your ducks looked very different and unique. Remember those 24 thinking skills we talked about earlier? You used a wide range of thinking skills, which included but are not limited to mental imagery, fine motor skills, symbolic representations, and even emotional regulation. Looking at a list of skills that the top employers in the world were looking for in new employees, we see a big change in skills where employees must learn empathy and collaboration skills. Employees must be creatively flexible and have emotional intelligence to collaborate and work with diverse teams. Ultimately, we want to highlight the importance of STEM education and why it's so important for our students. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, Job opportunities in STEM fields are expected to grow by 8%, while computer science jobs will grow by 11.5%. The expected job growth greatly outpaces projections in other industries 
providing our students with opportunities to enter high-paying professional careers. Now we're going to work with a partner and build a caterpillar. We're going to set a five-minute timer with your partner, and you're going to combine your Legos and try to build the longest caterpillar out of Lego bricks. Remember, when you are collaborating, you need to think, talk, and plan before you start building the caterpillar. There is no wrong or right way to build, so get creative. Ready to build? Pause the video, partner up, combine your Legos, and get started. You only have five minutes to build, so keep that in mind.
We hope you enjoyed building a long caterpillar, but your work is not done. Now you're going to walk around the room, compare caterpillars, but leave your creation on your desk. When you are walking around, try to find the longest caterpillar. You can measure by counting bricks, or you can even use your hand as a measurement, or some other way to compare the length. Something else you can ask your partner is how could you improve that caterpillar or make it even longer? Remember, an important part of working together is problem solving. Please pause the video and take about eight minutes to check out everyone's work. Talk about your observations, your wonderings, and your ideas for improvement.
We hope you enjoyed this activity. Often STEM activities don't even feel like you're learning, but you actually did a lot of learning through exploring. You had to design your ducks and caterpillars using specific criteria, apply problem solving skills, measure using non-standard measures, such as your hands and counting the bricks, and you even made comparisons. In RUSD, we want our students experiencing STEM activities beginning in elementary school. To accomplish this, we created STEM kits for every elementary school in the district. The STEM kits provide equitable access to STEM opportunities and increase early exposure to STEM experiences. k 6 students will be able to engage in hands-on STEM learning, which can unlock student potential and even ignite a passion for pursuing a career in STEM fields. Each STEM kit has a class set of spheros, ozobots, and microbits. All of these items allow students to code using different types of robots and create anything they can imagine. The STEM kits also have two different types of Legos, which allow students to build and engineer several different items. We are excited to build a culture of STEM learning beginning in kindergarten. We want to send you home with one more activity. You will get a Lego personal kit, which all of the bricks and directions are in there, and you can engineer a catapult and basketball hoop. We will need you to apply your knowledge of force and motion to be successful, but we know you can do it. Thank you for inviting Dr. Kong and myself to your family day. We hope you enjoyed the Lego activities and have a great rest of your day.